Okay, this, this is quite an interesting maths uh, Olympiad question. Uh, it's, um, it says that we have two circles uh, which are tangent with one another and internally tangent to the outer circle. Uh, and we have a cord that um, passes through this point of tangents. Um, and so, so that cord is tangent to both circles. Uh, I've drawn these um, these lines, the, the, the blue and the green, I've drawn them. Uh, it wasn't part of the question. Uh, and so what, what's up, what am I doing here is I drew a, a radius uh, of the smaller circle. I, I drew the radius to the point of tangent. And as a matter of fact, you would know that that makes a right angle triangle. So if I continue this line, that will be a full radius, a full diameter. Uh, and then this green line also is the same thing. So from center, if I drew the radius to the point of tangent, that will be perpendicular there. That will be 90 degrees there. So if I draw this line, then that line will be the full diameter. So, so, um, so as a matter of um, uh, indicating it uh, in the same color that I've written there. So this is... Uh, R1, the radius for the for the smaller circle. Um, this is R2, the radius for the, uh, the the larger circle inside. And so let's have let's also have in black the radius for this outer circle um, R. So our task really is to find the area of that shaded region. Okay, now the, 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 the solution to this question actually re relies on um, another uh, concept which um, I would have to do a separate um, video for it. Uh, and the concept is that if you have, um, if you have two chords crossing and intersecting one another internally, then they will divide it, they, they, they would divide, divide themselves proportionally in a way that that section of the chord multiplied by the remaining section would be equal to that section of the other chord multiplied by the remaining section of the same chord. So I wrote, I've written that one there. And so we are going to use this. Um, there's also another one for externally intersecting. So if they intersect externally, the same thing will happen, but then it would be that portion of the chord um, multiplied by the outer section, and then that portion, that um, part of the chord multiplied by this outer section of it. So I've written that relationship there as well. Uh, so I'm going to use I'm going to use this this uh, this this part. Um, so maybe we'll keep. Um, Maybe we'll keep this um, this picture here to use it for our solution. Okay, so <clears throat> so the, um, the the few things that we know now is that um, that blue um, part line multiplied by this green part line would be so the blue would be two R ones, which is the diameter of the the small circle. So the two R ones um, multiplied by the diameter of the, the the larger internal circle that would be twice R two. That would be equal to um, it would be equal to that multiplied by that. So we know the whole PQ is six, and it's obvious that that will um, that will half it here. Uh, because it's symmetrical either side. So therefore, that will be 3 and that will be 3. So 3 times 3 would be 9. So the first relationship that we find is that R1 multiplied by R2 um, would, so 4R1 multiplied by R2 would be equal to 9, which means R1 um, multiplied by R2 would be equal to 9 over 4. So I'm going to use that later on. Um, so let's just put a little box over this. We know that we're going to use this one in a minute. 
Now, the, the other thing that we do know is that um, the, the radius, um, this radius, sorry, this diameter here, so two R1s, this diameter, plus this green line, which is two R2s, that will actually be equal to the diameter of the outer circle. So two of that, two Rs. Yeah. So if I if I simplify this, you'll see that I get uh, I get R1 plus R2 is equal to R. So I'm going to use this as well. I'm going to use this as well. Okay. Now the area that we're interested in. So let's write the rest of it in uh, in a different color so it stands up. So the area of the um, area. Uh, of the shaded area, so shaded area. That will be equal to, that will be equal to the the area of the whole circle, so that would be pi times r squared, uh, minus the two smaller ones, so that would be pi times r1 squared, and also, also minus pi r2 squared. Yeah, let's like this square a little bit neater. Um, <clears throat> now, so if I now replace, if I now replace this R um, with with this, I would get I would get pi times R one plus R two squared minus pi R one squared minus pi R two squared. So if we expand expand this bracket you'll see that you would get pi multiplied by r1 squared plus r2 squared plus 2r1 r2 so I've just expanded the bracket um, minus pi r1 squared minus pi r2 squared so if we bring this pi in you will see that you get pi r1 squared plus pi r2 squared plus 2 pi r1 r2 minus pi r1 squared minus pi r2 squared well it's quite obvious that um, this is going to cancel with that that's going to cancel with that leaving us um, 2 r 2 pi r1 r2 but we know that r1 times r2 is 9 over 4. So you're going to get 2 pi um, 9 over 4. Simplifying this would leave you um, will leave you 9 over 2 pi. And that's the area of that shaded region. Um, shaded region here. Clever question. Uh, I will make a video uh, for that um, part later on. But do please send me your questions. It seems to be the you know some of my students do actually send very clever questions, and it's it's nice to have them uh, added to our collection. So if you just send it to me. Also, if you find uh, my material interesting and useful, subscribe to my channel, uh, and you know that way when I post something, um, you will get notified. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.